what comes to your mind about 2020? Work from home, Netflix, Ludo, Zoom calls, Dalgona coffee, and social distancing. Let's move on now to the COVID-19 situation in the country. India reported a little over 92,000 fresh COVID cases in the last 24 hours. A sudden pause in the lives of 8.2 billion people. What we felt briefly, animals endure every day. Many live without the company of their kind. Just like us, they notice when companions are missing, long for play and crave the comfort of connection. At Vantara, we understand this. Here, animals get to choose their company, guided by science, care and understanding. This is socialization. Here's Janvi. She came to Vantara after living in cramped spaces. The signs were obvious initially, constant pacing and scratching. So we started with something simple, better food, a spacious home, platforms to climb, water to cool off. Over months, Janvi calmed down, but there was still something missing. And then there was Hushi who had her own struggles. Low energy, poor appetite, barely engaging with her world. But then, a friendship sparked, and now they are comfortable sitting side by side, sharing their space and their days. Similarly, your are Leo, Liana and Freya, who were rescued without their mothers. They struggled to find their footing learning the world without guidance or comfort. Now they are seen to be the cutest trio ever. What we are witnessing is the act of socialization, a process built with patience, trust and play. Studies show that animals who socialize release higher levels of oxytocin, the hormone of bonding and calmness. So let's see how this process unfolds. Hi, I'm Namrata, working as a biologist at Vandana. When new residents arrive, we make sure they have the best of everything. Nutritious food, safe spaces and enrichments to keep them stimulated. We guide them to find their chosen family, the kind they feel safe with just like how we feel among our friend circle. But here's the thing that isn't enough. Many carry scars from their past and healing isn't just about the body, it's about the mind too. Just like us, animal needs a home filled with connection and love. And coming up, let's see a real life example of cheetah cubs. Out of the five cheetah cubs, let's follow the story of two to keep it simple. Apsara and Amrita. Here's Apsara a young cheetah cub. And then there's Amrita, who looks forward to being her new friend. Approaching others of her kind can be uncertain, much like a child stepping into a new classroom, unsure whether she will be welcomed or turned away. Two very different personalities. Let's see what happens next. Hi, my name is Craig Hose. I'm a curator at Bankara, working with the Cheetah Project. So we decided to do a compatibility assessment to make sure they are ready to be socialized. Step one, sight. It's like spotting someone across the cafe. First a glance, you look away and curiosity begins. Apsara and Amrita were placed in neighboring homes where they could observe each other from a distance. Step two, smell. Imagine noticing someone's perfume before you have even spoken a small glimpse into each other's world. Our caregivers swap bedding, scat, and scent. Smell is an animal's first introduction. Amrita showed dominance, where Apsara held back. Step three, short meetings. Now it's coffee dates. Short, cautious, will this work moments. This is where they spend a few minutes together. While our experts observed constantly. After about six weeks, the signs were clear. And when it clicks, you just know. It's like finding a friend you didn't even know you needed. The team had decided it was time for them to be socialized. Today, Amrita and Apsara are inseparable. Resting side by side, playing, running, and eating together. Now that is a genuine bond. 
Hi, I'm Aishman Singh. I'm a biologist in Vantara. Apsara and Amrita's story is one of many. How do we make sure that this works across species? It comes down to a few basic principles. So here is the thing, socialization is not guesswork. It is science in itself. Every animal has their own personality. Some are extroverts, bouncing around in the room, while others hang back like introverts at a party. We observe behavior, monitor stress levels, track interactions, and note which pairings thrive. Age also makes a huge difference. So, cubs are like children in a playground. Curious, quick to mingle, and ready to play. All together, this brings out their natural instincts. On the other hand, adults are like people in their 30s, cautious about whom to be friends with. All they need is more time and patience to build trust. And then it happens, the breakthrough moment. Like our college groups, an unexpected meeting over time becomes a genuine friendship. These moments are the animal version of high fives, hugs and late night talks. That instant when we see them trusting each other, a beautiful bond begins to grow. Well, there you see it. That's the beauty of socialization. Letting them choose their friends, their own way and the freedom to be themselves. Here's to another day of Antara Explained. Signing off.